Mr. Speaker. 44 smoke free days ago, Mr. Speaker. Oh, I'm up to 44 now. Um, Mr. Speaker, um, I raced along the Northwestern Motorway um, and, and thankfully. Uh, no, actually, in the back of an ambulance. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I thought to myself along the way uh, to Auckland Hospital, I thought to myself, thankfully, we, we, we've got a great motorway network to be able to get me from my house to the hospital, to the emergency ward in quick time. Mr. Speaker, in some ways, uh, I'm, I'm grateful that I live in Auckland uh, because we, we've got the infrastructure uh, there where we're, we're going uh, ahead at a great speed, sir, thanks to uh, the Honourable uh, uh, Stephen, um, I mean, uh, Mr Joyce, um, sir. Unfortunately, in... In the rural areas, we've still got a long way to go. And I think that the roads of significance, sir, that uh, uh, Mr Joyce, the Minister, has, uh, has put together around the country uh, say to me one thing, that if we are in trouble, if we are in need of New Zealand's health system, then we can uh, get to where we need to go namely a hospital. Sorry? Uh, I, I went to Auckland Hospital. No, not Waitakere. And the thing, and, and the reason is, uh, Ms. Ms. Cipollone, is because we don't have a 24-hour emergency uh, at Waitakere. Not yet. At the end of the year, we will. And again, that's thanks to a great Minister of Health, um, sir. Excellent uh, local member, uh, Paula Bennett. Sorry? Oh, no, no, we didn't. See, Mr Speaker, we didn't oppose it. In fact, many of us congratulated the Honourable Annette King when she uh, went ahead and built that. And now, sir... Years later, we are finally going to get, finally going to get a 24-hour emergency uh, uh, operation, sir. So I'm I'm thankful that we've been able to step into the breach, sir, and uh, offer those in West Auckland a 24-hour. Well, it's interesting that member pipes up, sir, and she talks about Henderson Valley, sir. But I'm surprised that she even knows where Waitakere is, sir, because she's not from there. She's not from there. She was going to run down Country Way, um, sir, but that, I think that's been taken by, by, a little, by a little person, sir, Andrew Little, sir. But, uh, oh, well, now we're talking about Te Aratu, sir. Well, let's talk about Te Aratu, sir. Let's talk about Tiaratu. Let's pull the pin right now and let's have a by-election. And let's see who's ready and willing, even with my new hardware, sir. Even with my new hardware. Sir Gareth Hughes from the Green Party, uh, what he did was a disservice to New Zealand tonight. He did a disservice to New Zealand, sir. Talking about the Rugby World Cup and how... The rivers were unswimmable. Well, just ask the kids out in Teratu, sir, whether they like to swim uh, in the creek, sir. Yes, they do. They're always there on a Saturday and Sunday. You can still catch parure. You can still catch, if you're lucky, snapper. And you can still catch kahawai, sir. Sir, he went on about light bulbs in hotels, for goodness sake. He went on about, he talked dirty about our country. He talked dirty about our country. And sir, he said we had a railway line uh, that didn't go anywhere. For goodness sake, sir, this is not Hong Kong. This is not Hong Kong. What does Gareth Hughes 
uh, expect a fast railway, railway from, uh, uh, from the airport, airport to the bottom of town, an underground system as good as Hong Kong's? I think not. There's not enough of us in this country to pay for it, sir. That's a fact. And what our Minister of Transport has done, sir, within, within uh, his budget, sir, we've been able to uh, uh, get along with our, our, uh, our infrastructure, sir, uh, at, a great, at a great speed of not, sir. And I want to say, in closing, talking about uh, infrastructure, how good it is to travel along the Mangere Bridge, sir, the second Mangere Bridge. What used to take at least an hour from Teratu Peninsula to the airport can now take 35 to 40 minutes, sir, and that's in peak hour traffic. So I want to congratulate uh, the Minister for bringing uh, these pieces of legislation uh, to the House, sir, and say what a, uh, a privilege it was uh, to serve on the select committee that saw uh, these four pieces uh, of legislation through. Thank you very much.